Hey guys, I want to take a little bit of time today and talk about a knife that was a huge surprise for me and it was probably, going back and thinking about it, the first knife that I pre-ordered. I'd seen Dylan Mallory on Lefty EDC, either on the edge or one of his lives, and they were talking about the knife that Dylan was currently working on and getting ready to design and release. He actually had a prototype there and I immediately kind of fell in love with the knife and thought from what I could tell it looked like it was going to be an awesome knife and what I'm talking about is the Mallory Designs Forest. So this knife started out again as Dylan talking about it and then different content creators started getting their hands on it, started to be able to review it, started to show it kind of what it was going to be, what it was not going to be, um, the way that it was kind of an understated, elegant gentleman's folder, um, mid-size to full-size knife with a very neutral handle and a fantastic finger choil. Um, I guess you would call this blade maybe a modified sheep's foot. It's right around, and you guys will have to check the specs, but I want to say it's right around three and a half inch blade. This handle is absolutely fantastic. Besides being carbon fiber and being very contoured and thin, it fits my hand just perfectly. And you'll notice it's got a very generous finger choil up here. Um, it allows me to really get a lot of different grips on that knife and on that blade for different uses. Um, it weighs almost nothing. Again, check the specs, see what, what it says there. And um, carbon fiber, S35 VN, nice flat grind, just a really simple, understated, but functional knife. It's got a milled pocket clip. Again, the handles are absolutely beautiful. Full-size backspacer. And the action on this, guys, is absolutely unreal. It only has a flipper deployment. It doesn't have, like the Tylos, the front flipper, which is fine with me. Um, it doesn't have a conventional flipper, but based on the way I use knives and the way I carry knives, the Forest is just an absolute winner. So um, a lot of these knives and a lot of these knife overviews, guys, they're going to be me kind of singing the praise of knives. I'll have plenty of knives that I can say negative things about because they all are coming from my collection. So I've got plenty of turds that I'll bring out and talk about, but I don't want to talk about just crappy knives to be crappy knives. So let's take a look at the forest and see how it comes in size-wise compared to our Old Faithful Cold Steel 4 Max. It's going to be a good bit smaller than the Cold Steel 4 Max. Let's look at it next to the Wee Baby Banner. It's going to be a good bit bigger than the Baby Banner. Let's take a look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. going to come in a good bit bigger than the bug out. The handle's similar to the same size, but the blade's going to be a good bit longer. And let's look at it next to the Paramilitary 2 S10V. And the Paramilitary 2 has a little bit larger handle, but again, it kind of falls right between those two knives. And then again, you can see in terms of the actual build and petiteness of the knife, it's right in there with the thickness of the bench made. So again, the forest is not available currently. Um, I've heard that there are gonna be some possible revisits of the forest. The Tylos is out now by Artisan Cutlery. It's uh, one of Dylan's other collaborations and the forest you'll find available on a lot of different secondary sellers, a lot of our YouTube buddies, guys and gals, you might have a forest that comes available. If it's something that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend grabbing it because like I say, it is one of my favorite knives. Uh, absolutely love it and uh, don't have a bad thing to say about it. So with that, I wanna leave you guys with looking out for the guy or gal on your left. Please look out for the guy or gal on your right. Y'all know that we're all gonna have things that we don't agree with, but that's okay because we'll talk it out. We'll figure out what the other person's side is. 
we don't have to agree with it, but it's nice to hear somebody out. It's nice to have things that are more debatable than hateable. So let's go forward and love. Peace out. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.